And following a short break, the Michelle Traconis trial was back in the courtroom in Stanford today. Standing trial for charges that include conspiracy to commit murder, evidence tampering, and hindering prosecution. The trial has hit day 21, roughly four weeks into what was expected to be a six-week trial. NBC Connecticut's Kevin Geis was in the courthouse again for us today. He joins us live from Stanford. Kevin, uh, what was covered on the stand? Well, Mike, it was a bit of a mixed bag day of testimony, a little bit about police investigations, as well as some new surveillance video that prosecutors showed. But the day was largely dominated by motions, one of which the defense scored a victory. He didn't look at anything that required his expertise, so anyone could uh, come to the same conclusion. A win for the defense following a motion to exclude testimony from Connecticut's chief medical examiner, the judge ruling in favor of defense attorney John Schoenhorn. The jury has heard more than Dr. Gill could testify to. The motion's granted. According to Traconis's arrest warrant, back in August of 2019, the medical examiner ruled Jennifer Dulos' sustained injuries non-survivable without medical intervention and the cause, homicidal violence. The medical examiner's decision came from the same evidence the jury has already seen in the first four weeks of the trial, including bloody clothing, DNA evidence, and photographs taken from Jennifer's garage in New Canaan. The decision came after testimony on various subjects, including new video of photos Dulos dropping off the Toyota Tacoma to be detailed in Avon. Shampoo carpets, seats, shampoo, or dash door panels and console cleaning. Manager of Russell Speeder's car wash describing the process they take to clean and detail a car. The surveillance video inside the business showing Fotis Dulos paying cash for the cleaning. According to court documents, he left no name for the car and listed the wrong model Toyota and provided Michelle Traconis's number for the business to call. The customer didn't provide a name? Correct. There was also new surveillance video from a New Canaan homeowner showing a person investigators believed to be Fotis Dulos biking in New Canaan toward Jennifer's Wells Lane home the morning she disappeared and what appears to be a black Chevy Suburban heading in the opposite direction a short time later. How many hours did you give the police department back in 2019? From 7 a.m. till 12 p.m. And before the trial even started today, there were two other motions that had to be addressed. One allowing very narrow testimony from an attorney who was deeply involved in Fotis Dulos and Jennifer Dulos's uh, divorce case, as well as a motion to address some cell phone records that the state pulled from Michelle Traconis's cell phone back around the time Jennifer Dulos disappeared. We'll be hearing testimony about that as well sometime soon. We're live in Stanford. Kevin Geis, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha, back to you. Kevin, thank you. And you can watch our live stream of the trial when court is in session on our streaming channel and NBC Connecticut app. We will take that live stream just as soon as testimony begins. That usually happens at around 10 a.m. And even before the trial begins, you can get up to speed on the case with our daily special Inside the Trial of Shel Michelle Traconis. Shannon Miller will have exclusive expert analysis beginning at 9 tomorrow morning.